Hey Vanity Fair, we are the cast of The Kissing Booth 2. And we're here today to run through some dating slang with you. Let's do it! Woo woo! Woo woo! <laughs> I know it all too well. <clears throat> Ghosting is basically like you just disappear from a person's life and there's no responses, there's no reaching out. It's as if you completely like are non-existent in their world anymore. Like social media texts. That Homer every- Simpson gif when he just disappears into the bushes. Into the bush. <laughs> that is ghosting. Ghosting. Haunting zombie. I feel like I've experienced this. I've had people hop out of the woodwork and like, no, die, die. <laughs> Has anyone actually used this before in their life? No. <laughs> I've never heard of it until this very moment, right? Never, now. okay. Um, I believe I have heard of this, let me, ask um is it when you like it's like it's like a dip your toe in a ghost it's like you're gonna like slowly make excuses why you can't hang out slowly stop texting the person it's called the slow fade instead of like being honest with somebody and telling them you don't want to like talk anymore you're just like i feel bad so i'm gonna slowly go i think it's even worse than ghosting like i'd almost prefer like a sudden thing than someone like slowly creeping out i think me too it's like pick pick one are you in or are you out more and more transparent yeah it's like that way Waiting for the, you have that moment when the penny drops and you're like, oh, okay, this is what's happening. And then that whole bit before then, you're just like, oh my God, this person is like really sick family, you know? And it's just all these constant excuses and you connect the dots and you're like, okay. Well, oh, I think I got this one. I can only think of this in like hunting terms. Like what was like the catch of the day, right? Like, like, did, like, did you, <laughs> like, what did you catch that day? It's like, so if you went out and you're like, oh, did you pull? It's basically, did you hook up with someone? Did you get with someone? It can be like, you know, simple kiss or more. But if you pulled, it's like you made an, a, a sexual interaction with someone. That makes someone. a lot more sense. Wait, is this, is this a UK term? Yeah, this is like, I remember this one. This is an old school UK one. I got it. I got this one. I know what this means. I was uh, filming the act actually, and it was like kind of like, you know, springtime when we were like during this moment. And um, I got on set and I wore cuffed jeans that day. And I walked in and I was like, it's cuffing season, everybody. And I thought that actually meant it was like the season where you cuff your jeans. And then someone, <laughs> someone told me, no, Joey, that means that you like cuff somebody, like basically you get with somebody. When it gets cold out, You know, like winter, fall, people love being in relationships and so they need someone to be with and like you just kind of handcuff yourself to someone for the cold months. Oh, that's why it's cuffing. Yeah, it sounds negative. It sounds like, oh my God, this guy just cuffed himself to me. It's like, I can't get rid of him. He's just so needy. Isn't this when like a guy is like coming onto a girl and a girl can curve him, just like put him like completely to the side and just like go by him? It's like you're driving, you're like, Nah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Anyone guilty of curving before? Present. Down to find the relationship. To find the relationship. Not to judge anybody, but if you're saying down to relationship, you must be under the age of. Wait, but it's not down. It's define. Oh, define. Define the relationship. Define. <laughs> define. You're on Tinder, like, yo, you DTR. You DT. You down to really? Yeah, they're like, what do you mean? Are you DTR? <laughs> What? Does this mean like you're you're stalking someone on Instagram and then you accidentally like something from a very long time ago? That's definitely what it is. Oh wow. Joe's definitely speaking from experience. Oh yeah. I've hundred percent done that. I just didn't know that there was a term for it. There's a meme too. It's like the guy, it's the, the Jason, the guy with the Jason mask all the way down the street. And it's like when you like a photo from someone from two years ago and he's like <laughs> I wanna be like, yo, my sis was like all into this dude. And then she went like she deep liking and he saw it and showed his buddies and then finished my sentence, Joey. And then and then someone found $5, it was crazy. Bucky, it's You're a South African, African one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an affectionate way to kind of call your girlfriend or like, yeah, your Bucky. It's like a, it's a short term for a buck. Like, like a buck? Like a deer? Yeah, like a buck. Like, you know the spring buck? Cute little buck. It, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Megan, you're my bucky. Oh, you're my bucky. Well, oh, left on right. Oh, left on right. Nothing worse, you know? Taylor has his red receipts on, and I, t- <laughs> do you remember this? Like, a month ago, I texted you, and I was like, just friend to friend, I'm just warning you in case you didn't know, you have your red receipts on. What did you say? You go, yo, that's pretty brave, man. I said, I was like, that's bold. Well, just- I hate when people, when I text someone, I don't get a text back for hours. And so I said, you know what? 
I'm gonna put the ball in like my, my own court and be like, I read your thing and I'm not responding or like I've read it and I will respond. There's nothing worse than when I text Taylor something and then it's like read at 2.47 PM. I'm like, nice. It's kissing. Snogging is like full on tongue and everything. Oh snap, okay. The first time I heard snogging was Harry Potter. And it took me like two me minutes. Me too. Who are they talking about? Cho. Cho and Harry. Cho Chang and yeah. Harry. Oh, okay. It's such a like visceral word. It's something that's just like, it's kind of animalistic. Yeah. It's not, it's not cute. So I have some friends from India and anytime I'm on my phone, they go, are you fubbing Taylor? And so it's like when you're in a conversation or at a ta dinner table with someone and you're on your phone and you're not paying attention to what's going on around you. Oh, that's that's a fun word for that. You know what I do when people do that? I just look at them and I go, no, no matter who it is, I go, hey, family time. In real life. Oh man, one time I, I caught a baseball at the stadium IRL. Well, that was not a dating slang, but you get the, the point. <laughs> my, my favorite is, um, Oh, yo, they don't look like that IRL. That's just how they look on their Instagram. That's a good one, I like that. Oh, this old thing, the oldest trick, the, 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 sorry, the newest trick in the book. Yeah, this, this means sex. <laughs> Taylor! Yeah, I, how do you beat around the bush with this? Every, this is- This means sex, oh we get it. Jealous. Ooh, jealous. jelly is like jealous. Wow, you, he, he's so hot. I'm, I'm so jelly you're talking to him. Or like, Maisie, don't be peanut butter and jelly. Oh wow, that's good. Stucky, my stuck. It's South African. I think it's like- I it's, feel like I've heard this. It's like, yeah, my partner, my girlfriend, boyfriend, my like love. Can I try saying it in an Afrikaans sentence? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How's it? Who hunted me, Stucky? <laughs> Whoa, look at you. What? Does that make sense? <laughs> Did that work? It oh. was good. Uh, thirsty. Basically, like, that means you are, like, seeking attention from a certain somebody or just from, you know, people in general because you need that fix. I thought it was, like, you know, when the desert's been dry for a while and you're just, like, ah, you're, like, you know, you want to pull. <laughs> a pull! You want to nice fall. fall back, Maze. No, I'm explaining these terribly. Everyone, yeah, you're, you're, that is a much better way of explaining that. Getting back together with your ex? Someone use it in a sentence. Yo, for real? She's backsliding with him? Whoa, whoa. We never said to add an ing at the end. I said to use backslide in a sentence. I, I can't use pre a present for What about this? How about this? Ah, uh, after all that warning I gave them, they're really gonna backslide? Oh, that's a good one. Thank you, Vanity Fair. I hope you learned some new terms. We will not be responsible for any damage to relationships caused, but try and use them whenever you can. Good luck. You're so cute, Maisie. <laughs> I'm the biggest goofball.